Did you go up, coming in tonight and you've been out a while, did it, was it a little uncomfortable for you just trying to get in the flow after you've been out so long? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's different, you know, when, when you're sitting out for a month and then today was the first day that I really got up and down with my team, so um, it was different, but we thought that this game was the best game for me to just come in and get adjusted back to things, and hopefully I'll be back to full speed by Sunday when we play Missouri. Kamika, were you torn at all between staying on the floor for the opening the opening, and, and running out of the tunnel as a starter? Not at all. Um, I love doing the handshake and stuff with the team and giving my lady friends their hug before the game. Um, that's something I enjoy doing, so I'd rather stay out there. When did you find out you were going to be starting tonight? Um, Tabor told me while we were shooting, and she said, okay, you're coming. And I was like, what, Tabor? She said, you're starting. I was like, oh, okay. So she just told me to be ready, and um, I just got my mind right within the last 10 minutes of warm-up. So. It was like about half hour before game time. Pretty much. Nia, with, with Izzy going out, you, you obviously have got to get in there and help contribute to the team. Does a game like this give you some confidence, some of the good stuff you got done today? Oh, of course, you know, with our players just going, you know, being injured, I know I just go out there and just have my team anyway. The TV guy you took out is back here, I think. Uh, yeah, I think he's okay. What, what happened on that play? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, all right, I, it was a hustle play. I didn't mean to hit you, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just trying to, you know, get the ball back in play. Sierra, you both of you, I mean, you both of you are coming in. You haven't played in a month. Nia hasn't played a whole lot this month. How, how key is that for you guys to get back as soon as you can with Izzy being out right now? I mean, it, it's huge. It's, it, we needed to get back. We needed to have Izzy's, Izzy's back. Um, you know, we, we're so big on just being a family, and when one of our family members goes down, it's important for us to have each other's back. And uh, I think Nia and I are just trying to get back in the group of things, and I really step up for Izzy. Sierra, what was it like when you get, got introduced and the crowd, and now that you gave you some information, what was the moment like for you? Uh, I was all smiles, smiling from year to year. I mean, when when basketball is your life, since you were five years old, and it gets taken away from you for a month, I mean, when you're able to come back, it's like all you can do is smile. And, I mean, I was so energized on the bench, trying to be positive for my teammates, but it's nothing like stepping in between those lines and having the ball in your hands. And our fans are great. I mean, uh, the acknowledgement that they showed me, that was awesome. Sierra, Sierra did, you have to, did, did you have to give Izzy some tips on how to be a cheerleader? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Izzy's as mobile as I am right now, so she's going to have to uh, learn to step up her cheerleading skills after her surgery. <laughs> Sierra, when you, when you're, you can play inside or outside. Uh, do you feel just as comfortable when you're, now that Izzy's out, you're obviously going to have to play more inside, I would think. So how do you feel in that role? Well, it actually works out for me because um, right now I can't shoot. So, but don't tell anybody that's a secret. I can't really shoot within uh, four outside of four feet from the basket. So, because of my strength and range of motion isn't fully back yet. So, well, it works out because I am inside right now. Even, but if once you're 100 percent, I mean, do you feel like you can be just as effective inside maybe as you would be outside? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think I can help rebound and. Um, passing the ball and then just stepping outside. Uh, I'm obviously not going to be the post presence that Izzy P is because she's phenomenal down there, but I can be a versatile four. And uh, when I have to play the five, I mean, I'm going to step out and uh, you know shoot my mid range. I don't think I'm going to escape from that. Do you think sun by Sunday you'll be able to to shoot your normal range or is that? Yeah, um, I mean, I've been making leaps and bounds since I got my cast off. You know, it, it hasn't been an easy process. It's been extremely painful more painful than what I thought it was going to be, but I think um, I'll be full strength by Sunday. Have you seen your numbers? Have you seen what you did tonight? Um, Mickey Dearstone told me. I mean, that's amazing. You know, 10, 13, 6, and 6, you were all over the floor. I mean, how can you do this more often? That's amazing. Um, Now that Isabel's out, it's going to have to happen. I mean, like CC, we all have to step up there. Um, this game, I just try to focus on, on defense and rebounding and everything else just played out for us. Neil, was it nice to see Jasmine Phillips get in the game too? Because I mean, oh. she's been working in practice as much as you have, and finally got some production out there. Of course, anytime you know, one of our players gets some time out there and they're productive, it's good to see. Sierra, you guys need help on the post with post defense. Can Nia do that with Izzy out? Absolutely. Um, I mean, Nia is extremely long. If, if anything, she's a shot blocker, and um, I, y'all don't see her in practice, but we do. And she's throwing some shots, so 
Uh, I definitely think once she gets more comfortable out on the court, gets some more minutes under her belt, she's going to be very productive and helpful for us. All right, ladies, thank you very much. Thank you.